Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here with, uh, a butt buddy husband of mine, Hatchethead33. Now that one's a touch too far. <laughs> What's so wrong about it, Hatchet? Because I'm not your husband. Yet. No, not yet. <laughs> it's just, it's not the case, and it's never going to be the case. <laughs> okay, let me go live on my end. All right. Hello, hello, people. And by people, I mean my one viewer, who I assume is Gar. Uh, hi, Gar. I'm, I'm, I'm Hatchet's new wife. I... <laughs> okay, I hadn't made you, like, audible yet. Oh. <laughs> I, they, they probably caught, like, the new wife bit, but that's about it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's true. No. No, it is not. Yeah. I will not stand for this misinformation. <laughs> or will you? No, I will not. Well, since you can't stand for this information, uh, misinformation, sit on it. Uh, this is gonna be a stream, huh? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Alright. So, everyone can hear me, right? Yeah, I I turned desktop audio back on. Okay, so, um... So, here's something I want to say. Uh, I got home today. The reason why I took so long is... Um, I found out that Busta and Buddy worked together to knock down the oreo gluten-free oreo box opened it and ate all of them oh jesus christ <laughs> yeah are they okay they're fine i mean buddy is super hyper and bus is just sleepy did you get them to the vet oh fuck um yeah i did uh basically they they just told me as of right now, it would be best to just give them, uh, some rice. I see. Apparently, that'll help their immune system. I don't know. But, or not immune system, their, their stomach. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a veterinarian. <laughs> but, that's not the only thing they, they went after. <laughs> what else? They both helped themselves to my slippers. My my feet are gonna be cold in the morning now. That is the that is significantly less concerning. True. Oh, your feet are a little tired, and your dogs may have poisoned themselves to death. Oh, I'm or dead. Could have. <laughs> he got killed by a fucking silverfish. <laughs> Maybe. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I was getting the diamonds I left behind. And uh, oh, when yeah. I killed them, when I oh, when I broke the blocks, uh, sometimes my uh, pickaxe, my netherite one, breaks multiple at a time, and, and I got sworn by three of them. <laughs> I mean, that and, like, when a silverfish block breaks, yeah. they will commonly break others around them. Oh. I love mangroves. Bed? Oh, uh, probably should, but I am currently, uh, at the top of a mangrove tree. Sleep there. I do not have a bed with me. Get a bed. Don't you just miss chatting with me? No. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Oh, that's a creeper. God damn it. 
The zombies are picking up the mangrove roots. Don't you dare fucking explode. I'm making sure there's no mobs near me because I don't want to accidentally blow up Azul and Poop Face. There. Okay. Okay, I sleep. There. So I want to go inside this house. And, um, apparently, crowd control added, ah. you know, you know, crowd control. But they apparently added a shit ton of shit. A shit ton of shit. Very like, descriptive. <laughs> like, different games. Alright, I'm going to list some of the stuff. That apparently can be now be uh, under crowd control. Okay. Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh no. <laughs> Fallout Four. Okay. Resident Evil Seven, Two, and Three. Okay. Darkest Dungeon. Oh, oh, that sounds awful. Hades, Spooky, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh my gosh, Dark Souls Remastered, Dark Souls 3. Getting over it? They had to get over it. <laughs> What the heck sort of commands would you have in getting over it? I don't know. Uh, Raft. Um, old Resident Evil 4. Uh, first Resident Evil. Sim City? Why? Why is my... Let's see. Why is my fucking mouse... Doing that. What the fuck? Uh, Terraria. Uh, The Binding of Isaac. Sims 4. And last but not least, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Okay. I think I am experiencing some absurd lag. Oh. I'm fine. Oh, wow. Okay, moving on. Inventory. Okay, yeah, now it's now it's working. What the fuck? Oh, like, shit. I couldn't move anything in my inventory. Yeah. Wait, what was the game you said you were wondering uh, how would crowd control affect it? Uh, getting over it. Oh. I feel like it, one of the commands will be just, like, pushing me off the cliff. But, oh god, Darkest Dungeon sounds like absolute hell <laughs> to have, like, the whims of the capricious deity that is Twitch chat. <laughs> yeah, Bruno says, oh, you're, you're about to beat this level. Everyone dies. <laughs> oh, books in your chat? No. <laughs> I was just staying oh. a point what Bookworm will probably do. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I got you. I love mangroves. Like, I love mangrove wood. It's one of my favorite woods in the game. Why do they have to be so fucking annoying to fucking harvest? I killed a cat. Okay. In other words, I wrecked the pussy. Oh. Why am I doing this? <laughs> what am I gaining from this? Oh, god damn it. What? I fell off my scaffolding. Ow. Oh.
I now went from level 96 to level 80 after enchanting several things. I, I thought when you hit the 30 thing, it would take 30 levels, but I was wrong. That, I, that hasn't been the case for at least half a decade. Shut up. Are you kidding me? I don't pay attention when I enchant things. I feel like I'm hurting Hatchet. Uh, you're always hurting me. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yes. <laughs> oh, sweet. Some sugar cane randomly spawned. I can make a sugar cane farm. Not sure if I find any use for it. I mean, like, books. Oh, yeah, I can actually... Ooh, I can make a library in this area. Oh, wait. And, if, and if you're wanting to do uh, a, a brewing station, then you're going to want sugar. Oh, uh, yeah, I, did, I said I was making a potion hat. Uh, I was going to make a lab. That's probably where I can do like my enchantment books and um my potions. What? I, I said I was going to make a lab, so I was going to do my potions and enchantment books there. Oh, okay. Just the way you put that didn't register in my brain. Uh Uh, yeah, I felt like this realm, I spent too much time on it than you. <laughs> too much time on it than you. What I meant is, I probably should have touched grass instead of playing the Minecraft. Listen, Bright, there's a lot of things that I'll uh, lambast you for, mm -hmm. but... I will not be a hypocrite and tell you to touch grass. Okay. Today was the first time I touched grass in at least four days? Five days? I see. I am a chronic grass avoider. Well, I've got two videos. Videos? Viewers. <laughs> it's just two Welcome videos in. immediately start appearing. I also have two viewers. Guessing one is book. Look, if you're in here, here right now, type the word boobs. But only do it in my chat so I can lie to Bright about it having been done. Okay, type boobs in Hedge's chat and type penis in my chat. No, just only type in my chat. We're gonna gaslight Bright. Fuck you. <laughs> what the what the fuck are you doing? I wanna give you something. Okay. I'm gonna give you three things that I don't need. Why are you... Why the... <laughs> of all the things, <laughs> you give me silk-touched oars? <laughs> Why? <laughs> You could literally just throw these into a lava bucket. Why did you come all the way here to teleportation to throw that at me? <laughs> okay. I think that's the two most problematic looking 
mangroves dealt with. There's a drowned holding a fishing rod. You know, there's a lava, like, a lava thing right near my house he could use. Uh, okay. I was just staring at the drowned holding a fishing rod. I mean, yeah. They sometimes have fishing rods. I can't remember if there's any use for mangrove roots in bedrock. But they can at least be used to power furnaces. I could use them. For that. I, I'm not sure if they patched it, but I, I know in 1.19, you're able to use mangrove roots to trap animals with uh, using a piston. I saw some stuff about that. I have no you idea want... if they patched it. Okay, you found the lava. Now there. Let's sleep. We're sleeping together. No. No, we're not. <laughs> what do you mean? Why can't we sleep together, Hatchet? Why? Why is there so many sounds of fucking zombies right where my fucking base is, but I just... They, they just never show up. Like, is there just a tiny little hole somewhere that they're stuck in? Yes. It's called the asshole. <sighs> Let's see. Most of the stream is just gonna be saying shit and then you just sign. <laughs> That's what most of our streams in Minecraft are. Yeah, there's actually, uh, I'm hoping we probably get in contact with Darren soon, but I forgot we did have a Minecraft world that was a, a really well done adventure map that we've yet to finish. It was like a medieval thing. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but we haven't finished it yet. I think we just barely beat the first chapter of it. Okay, that's three mangroves down. Okay, sometimes the mangroves will be incredibly large mm -hmm. and, like, expansive. And then other times, it'll be literally just two pieces of wood with a bunch of roots around it. I see. Oh, I see more ores that are going to be in my way of making this place flat. That's to sneeze if... I should, I should probably save these ores. That way, when I get mending, I can repair my armor. I'm just breaking these ores with a regular pickaxe. Yeah, I suppose that's a thing. You could also look into making an XP farm. I'm too lazy for that. You're too lazy for that. But you have a gigantic base you're building. Yes. It's called laziness priorities. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Pokemon's in our chat. I'm guessing not. I'll back down to one viewer. I still have two. F. Yeah. 
Gar, are you in chat? No. I don't want to talk to you. Let's see if I see them in Discord pop up. Jesus! Fucking weird spikes of lag. I did nothing. What did you do? Nothing. Oh. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of my chat. No. of silk touch dirt blocks. What? I filled a chest near this uh, like abandoned nether portal and I filled it with silk touch dirt blocks. Oh god. I don't know why. I did that. I mean plain grass blocks can be useful but not like that many isn't necessary. <laughs> yeah. I'll back up the two viewers. Is that all? That's all of the way. It is so satisfying chopping down some scaffolding. There's a black horse under one of my mangroves. Inky. What? You heard me. <sighs> right. Mm -hmm. I do not need to explain to you the nuances <laughs> in use of the English phrase what? Or not phrase, word. Maybe. Oh, there's... There's a cave. Hello, random zombie. Hello, random skeleton. Hello, another random skeleton. Well, that's normal. Grab that coal later. And now we just go dead quiet. I mean, I'm I'm just kind of chilling. We're not what allowed do you to mean? chill. Why did you type <laughs> "am" behind you in my chat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How do you know I'm not behind you right now? Because you're not behind me right now. I meant in real life. Probably because you can't teleport to Colorado. <laughs> Yet.
I will now implore scientists <laughs> to completely <laughs> abandon teleportation as a prospect for future travel, specifically because I don't want Bright to be able to teleport to Colorado. Why? I am perfect. I am perfectly comfortable with us remaining a good 1,500 miles apart. <laughs> wow. Is that how you only think of me? What is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow. Is that how you, you think of me? In reference to just talking about the distance between us? Yes. Hey, Hadja, what happens if you put Fortune 2 and Soap Touch together? I'm pretty sure they're mutually exclusive. The reason is because I have a Fortune 2 pickaxe that I can use to repair this pickaxe I have right now. That means oh, I then, I th <laughs> then I think the... Um, uh, whichever enchantment is on the pickaxe being used to repair will overwrite the other enchantment, most likely, I think. Uh, but yeah, I believe, I believe Fortune and Silk Touch are mutually exclusive. Damn, this is gonna take fucking forever. You near your bed? No. I want to walk there. Ooh, I will remind you that I do not have. I will remind you that I do not have a house. I'm running. Don't worry. Did you put your bed on top of the mangrove tree? No. Why? Because I'm chopping down. Wait, did you pronounce it mangrove? Yes, I intentionally did that. Either way, no, because I'm <laughs> chopping down the mangrove trees for wood. Are you saying mangrove trees can't be groovy, Hatchet? Mm -hmm. I mean, they do kind of have a groovy gate to them. Oh god, Creeper. God damn it, Creeper! They blow up your shit? They blew up part of my wall. Rip. I was nowhere near them too and they just randomly blew up. Could be lag. Or it's Hero Brian. No. Hello, Creeper. Ow. Yeah. You know, there was actually just one thing I did try when I was younger, where it was like, oh yeah, if you do this totem in, in uh, Minecraft Xbox 360 edition, you can summon Herobrine. Oh yeah, I used to watch videos like that. So... I, I, I actually did it. It didn't summon here, Brian, but I thought it did because my game glitched the fuck out. <laughs> like, it's uh, random mobs started spawning everywhere. <laughs> I think I just broke the game instead of actually summoning here, Brian. What did the totem thing entail? I think it was like, it was like the first layer of a beacon, uh, beacon, like Come top, on. the top layer of a beacon. Um,. One netherrack and I think a Steve's head, and then you're you have to then lightning will hit it. Lightning never hit it, it just broke my game the second I placed it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, this was early on Minecraft, not like it is now. Or... You got rejected by Hero Brian. <laughs> Hero Brian is confirmed to not be into children. We're just, we're dropping that topic of conversation right the fuck now. 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? I am too fucking dirt dort. You need some dort? No. Why don't you want some dort? Why would I want dort? The dort is, is good. It it helps heal bones. I really need you to stop, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> dort helped me correct my erectile dysfunction. <laughs> and Hatchet says nothing. Am I supposed to react to you every time you say something stupid? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I'm not gonna. Oh, uh, yeah, apparent. Uh, I'm not sure if you know about this, Hatchet, but apparently, um, what, uh, new terms of service with EA games and whatnot, you have to be very careful what you say in, in voice chat or, um, or texting people messages. You you wanna know why? Why? Because someone typed in STFU and got permanently banned off of all EA games. What the fuck? That happened. <laughs> and I'm like, like how sensitive is EA? So are are we just not allowed to cuss anymore in EA games? Yes. Ah, uh, yes, because every EA game is meant for children, obviously. Yeah. When I have kids, the first game they're gonna play is gonna be Dead Space. Oh God. Uh, I'm kidding. I ain't gonna have kids. Yet. No, not yet. I'm just not going to have kids. Planned Parenthood uh, it accepts your sacrifice. What? <laughs> 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 what? Uh, is something the matter? You. <laughs> you are the matter currently. Maybe I should start talking about politics to keep you quiet. Do you want to hear about why intersectionality is an essential component to any modern political movement that intends to be inclusive? I have no idea what the fuck you just said. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you want me to go deeply in depth, Bright? No. Yeah, actually, now I remember, I think the first time we ever talk anything political while doing minecraft was we talked about the death penalty <laughs> probably yeah yeah which is actually pretty funny for us like the first thing i was like oh no like the problem with i mean wage no let's just talk about is it ethical to kill a person <laughs> i mean yeah <laughs> it's a pretty notable issue to discuss <laughs> I still say probably one of, uh -huh. uh, 
What were you gonna say? I still stand by the statement. I don't believe everyone should deserve it, but there are some people who obviously just deserve it to an extent. Like, I'm talking about like people who do really, really awful things. Anyway. I think you know what type of people I mean. Well, yeah. Ultimately, my perspective is simply based upon the fact that I dislike the state in general. As such, uh, the state already has a monopoly on violence by its construction alone. Mm -hmm. As such, I think it is best that we avoid allowing any more uh, handouts of violence being legitimized by the state, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, I want to see something. Uh, entertain the stream, Hatchet. I want to do some messaging. Okay. Bye a bee, bye a boo, bye a ha, bye a ha. Am I entertaining you, stream? I've already well and truly run out of things to try to entertain Stream with. Did you not see my message I did in your chat? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I messaged Cherry if they want to join us. Uh -huh. Every passing minute I contemplate whether or not it would be a good or bad idea to ban you from my stream chat. I would only grow stronger. That is not how that works. <laughs> it is how it works in my mind. So in other words, that's not how that works. Or is it? No. Uh, I am d the destroyer of mines. You're not even going to deny it. I mean, I'm also not entirely paying attention and thinking of stuff. Okay, I am- I have had it up to here. Where the fuck are these sounds coming from? Right there. In my asshole. I- I- I fell into a cave. I dug straight down, fell into a cave. There's a whole shit ton of things down here. I am absolutely about to die. And die. I don't want to. <laughs> I just watched a skeleton get m murked by a fucking zombie. I also, if I say I don't want to, and then the second you say that, I just see, see Edget Head 33 was slain by a zombie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you sacks of shit. Go to hell. Gladly. <laughs> and should end 33 Not with you. slave by a skeleton. I have the high ground. I would love Give to up, Anakin. I have the high ground. <laughs> this literally just looks to be a dead end cave. That's just right under where my base camp is. I see. 
This game's generation is the jerk at times. Oh, hello, zombie villager. Well, I guess it's not a dead end. Looks like there's more. That's a lot of zombies. Inky. Why are there st Why are there so many? Because they're all looking for that here? big booty. Oh. <laughs> and, and Jack goes silent. <laughs> I'm sorry, little bat. What the? F oh, come on. Goddamn lag. You died. Yeah, I, like, I lagged while I was staring at a creeper. And it just looked like the creeper was standing there staring at me. But it was actually right in front of me and it blew up. Okay, there's that area. Put the fuck up. We should probably go to sleep. I mean, I'm like lighting up a cave under my house. Another zombie. Nope, nope, fuck off, child. Fuck off, child. Uh -huh. Anyways, um, I'm gonna say hi to my new boyfriend. The fuck? He? Oh, oh, I am so dead. Where's my new boyfriend? Ah, there's my new boyfriend. How are you, boyfriend? I see, we broke up. Can't really break up if you didn't have a relationship in the first place. It was a toxic relationship. They just kept no, blowing it... up stuff all over me. No, it wasn't a toxic relationship. It just wasn't a relationship. You don't know that. Yes, I do. How do you know? Simple. Creepers do not have love. Oh, fuck's sake, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> what? You are such a dumpster fire of a person. <laughs> I did nothing. What did you do? You didn't see the new thing that popped up in the chat? What? The fuck do I open chat? Not in Twitch chat, in Minecraft chat. That's what I'm. That's what I mean. What do you mean the new thing? After the word S, you don't see anything else? No. Alright, let me type it again. Actually, there's no S either. You sent peen in chat. Oh my gosh. They they didn't... They, they're they blocking the word penis. They're, block, they're blocking the word penis. Good. 
Oh my gosh, on Discord right now, it says I'm muted for, my, for myself, but you can hear me. Uh. I am muted, yet unmuted. I'm the unmuting, muting god. Oh, it's gone. I'm now just a sad crying god. <laughs> hey, Bob, can I have a hand job? <laughs> Where's the monster? No! Oh my god! No, 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 no! What's up? A creeper blew up my bed. Uh oh. I was right next to the aquarium too. Oh, thank fuck. I see my big base <laughs> outbring. I, I, in creative mode for just a few seconds so I can quickly patch things up so my, um, my lovely pets don't die. Damn, it's almost as if at multiple points I told you you should light up your base. There's lights! Multiple points! There's uh, right near the area. Yes, and if there's darkness anywhere, then mobs can spawn inside your base. I'm killing this zombie with a pickaxe. Are they both in there? I see Azul. And I see Poopy Face. Oh my gosh. That scared the shit out of me. But there's a creeper in my mangrove. Yes. Oh wait, now I just realized I don't have a bed anymore. Yes. It's a good thing I collected a lot of dirt, so now I can patch up this hole completely. Or should I say dort? Okay. Let's see if I have anything in here that can be used for a bed. I got okay. four white wool. Do I have any wood? Well, that fucking child. Oh. Oh, yes, I do have wood. I do have wood. Give me that goddamn bed. Alright. And... Boom. I now have a spawn point. Wait a minute. Mm I want to see something. Can I do this? You need to make a proper fucking pen for my animals. I did nothing. Okay. I did not use my god powers. Uh -oh. I'm gonna need 
the break of our cobblestone across that. I think I'm just going to clear that out off stream and just clear my inventory at the moment because there is so much to clear this. I think I'm just going to go back in the nether and collect a bunch of quartz for the, um, the road. You're cutting out a lot. Maybe Discord should stop working on other issues and fix their goddamn voice chats. Anyways, I was saying, uh, instead of continuing where I'm, I'm going, I think I'm just gonna, uh, go and shit. Eh, basically, go and do, uh, nether stuff and get course for uh, the road. Oh, uh, okay. Because that's gonna take less time, thanks to my fortune and three pickaxe. Ow. Yeah, good. I smell like burnt chicken. Okay. I set my dick on fire. You know what I just realized? I can say as much more stuff as I possibly can. Because Bookworm can't bonk me in my chat. Because they're not even there. I am unbonkable. Didn't tempt me. I am unbonkable. I shall fuck as many villagers as possible. In the stream. Yeah, where's a village that I can just peg the fuck out of their ass with? Another villager's head. Don't question my methods. There's my shit. I just need my bow. In case I encounter a goddamn ghast. Okay. 
Ow, oh, goddamn it, of course there's still fire everywhere. Well, yeah, fire doesn't go out in the nether. You know, I want to see where this second nether portal goes to. Again, if they're, like, really close to each other, they'll probably just link up to the same portal. Yep. Sweet gas deer. I don't know how the gas died, but gas deer. Oh shit. Quartz. Give me that. Give me this quartz. All the quartz is mine, you can't have it. You talking to me? Yes. Ow, god damn it. Why why would I want your core? Thing increase the power of your boner. You really need to get new material. What are you talking about? Material's fine. Just... It's just saying random sex shit over and over again. Hey, it's not always the same. Like, I'm not trying to be a dick, but, like, it does get tiring when every other thing you say has something to do with sex. Possibly. What do you mean, possibly? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm too tired to think straight. Well, then again, I can't think straight, because I'm not straight. Okay, horses. This is your new home. If you could... Enter... Enter the stable. Enter my rectum. What? That's a cute little strider from- oh. <gasps> oh my god! I didn't know those- What did you do to the strider? The two- the nut sacks are just slowly falling off the magma thing to their deaths. One already died. They're, 
I think the other yeah what there's this giant lava pitfall and one of them fell on netherrack block what do you mean by nut sacks oh that's what vanos crew called the the red things in the nether that that walk on two legs striders yeah they call them nut sacks and there we go another one I will save you nutsack what from the lava no it was about to fall off and die like the other two uh oh Did the nut sacks drop anything good? No. They if I think they drop a feather maybe. Oh. They're not meant to be killed. Till now. It's night time? What? What did you say? I said it's night time. No, it was thundering. Ooh, a nutsack. I killed it. I'm finding so much nether quartz. Oh, no. Oh, he's, I see you met my boyfriend. Where is it? Is this still a thing if you shoot an arrow through lava that it becomes a fire arrow? Yes. Neat. I don't see. I see some, but not a lot over there. Your chat's still dead? Yep. I'm guessing just our fans don't watch our Minecraft shit, to be honest. I mean, I've got two viewers, and if you've got two viewers, then... That's pretty standard amount of fanfare. Maybe. Oh shit. I fell deep in a hole. Okay. I survived on half a heart. I was stuck on a bunch of magma blocks. Well, now I have a couple magma blocks. I think I'm just not in the best of head spaces tonight. That's fair. I might just end stream early at 11 and get some oh. rest. Oh, okay. I mean, you can keep going. Is 
I'm too tired to think of really anything to say. Yeah, a long day. Kind of, yeah. Why is it just the narcolepsy? Being a bitch? No, both. Howdy, neighbor. Sorry if I've been overly snippy. You're fine. Hey, neighbor. Get the fuck off my property. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. I really need to look up. What the fuck we can use mangrove leaves for? Apparently, my bow's a one shot hit on piglins. <laughs> and I don't think he's really that strong, it's just unbreaking three, power three, infinity one. Yeah. Are piglins weak? I mean, not particularly. Oh, god damn it. Oh, shit. I fell in a second hole. I guess going. I'm just not feeling. Hmm? I I don't quite know why I'm feeling like this tonight. That's fair. Keep going. Holy shit, I found a stack of glowstone that uh, looks like a gun. I was going to say penis at first, but then I saw a different angle and it looks more like a gun. Oh. It, because of that, I'm not gonna mine it. Like the the gunstone stays there. Gunstone. Honestly, might just be having a headset on. Uh. It's messing with me. <laughs> Come around summertime, I.
plan on getting a decent microphone, so I don't have to have my headset on all the time. I see. How much did your microphone cost, Ben? I? Yeah. Fuck, I don't remember. Ow. Was it? Wait, it didn't save my spot? I I clicked the bed. Uh oh. Oh I see the outline of cobblestone. Yeah, it's you set up very close to spawn. Thank goodness I did that. <laughs> Or otherwise, I probably wouldn't be able to find home. So yeah, most likely by the time I break all of this nether quartz. So I use silk touch to pick it up. That way it doesn't get destroyed by gas when I'm trying to mine it. Oh. You know what? That's actually a halfway decent strategy. Mm-hmm. I can be Still... smart sometimes. <laughs> and just also look on the oh. I was gonna say and also look on the bright side. You came back right around night time. Oh uh, yeah. Watch it say that I can't go to sleep because there's monsters nearby. <laughs> That'd be your luck. Oh look, mobs. Sorry, you're not allowed to play hanky panky with my ass. Fuck. Maybe later. What? Don't worry about it. You can may not rest down there. there are monsters nearby. You know what? I want to go to the one area I know there are no monsters. Oh, fucking hell, two creepers. Don't worry, I'm going to bed soon. That doesn't exactly help me with the two creepers here and now. Ah, I'm safe. I'm sleeping inside the Wanderer's Library. And I figured. Ugh. Let's see. Hi. Yep, I spawned in the Wonders Library. Did you antagonize one of your golems? <laughs> yes. Dickhead. <laughs> hey, he was the one who gave me Chlamydia, so it's all fair that I antagonize him. No. <laughs> no, it is not. 
Not to mention, let's just be frank, we're getting into some Andy and Lele territory considering the fact that you made all of those golems yourself. Sweet home Alabama music starts to play. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what? I accidentally uh, uncrafted all of my iron blocks. Oh, no. And at, at least it's easier to craft with a mouse than it is with a controller. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There was apparently a PC game that we were going to play together at some point that I thought I, I would only be able to play it by myself, and I forgot what it was. Because um, apparently it was on the Game Pass or something. And you downloaded it. I forgot what it was. Uh, Power Wash Simulator? That's right. That's right, Power Wash Simulator. We have to do that at some point. Yeah. There's a creeper among my mangroves. But yeah, geez, still, still just thinking about the prospect of doing crowd control with uh, darkest dungeons. Mm -hmm. It's just awful. I can actually, you know what? Before I, I cut this, uh, I want to go intermission real quick. And I'm going to look up darkest dungeon crowd control. Because, like, I can only imagine that that's going to be particularly brutal. Crowd pleaser. Which also means I'm going to have to try doing that once I get affiliate. Alright. AI control over the hero. Add bleed, oh. add blight, add confusion, add crit bonus, add damage bonus, add damage penalty acid horror add marked add region add shuffle add stealth big damage on hero big damage on enemy big heal on hero big heal on enemy big stress damage big stress heal blackout black uh, on hero and enemy death store on hero death store on enemy decrease light due to wave enemies due to wave hero downgrade armor downgrade weapon Empty light, fill. Oh, what? That one in particular is brutal. What? Empty? Like if it's a per, huh? Or a downgrade weapons and armor. Like yeah. those are, those are permanent buffs that you get for spending like a decent chunk of change. So if like if that's an actual permanent debuff, that is awful. It doesn't say that it's. It usually will put like time seconds if it's not permanent not permanent it, there's no time seconds next to it so it is permanent yeah fill light full heal on hero and enemy full stress heal on on hero giant hero giant enemy <laughs> give affliction on hero give anti-venom give bandage give bust give crest give deeds give firewood give food give gold give holy water give key give laundrum Give medical herbs, give money, give onyx, give portraits, give ruby, give shovel, give torch, give virtue, glowing, hero and, and enemy, increase light, kill hero or enemy, move backwards for hero <laughs> or enemy, move forwards oh. hero and enemy. Oh, that one also hurt, but for different reasons. That would just be so painfully annoying. Uh, move to the back for hero and enemy, move to the front hero and enemy. Yeah, because, like, one of the most annoying things that I've encountered playing that game mm. is enemies that screw up your, uh, party order. Yeah. Is there something like, uh, the, the main one I was thinking of is, uh, is there a, uh, um, 
just like cause heart attack on a hero? I don't know. You oh my gosh, you can pay to rename a hero. <laughs> Shuffle team on hero and enemy. You can also make your your hero tiny or an enemy tiny. Oh no. What if that has any actual effects on gameplay? Cause there are big enemies that like are extra strong. Yeah. Well I'm seeing I see you now bleed, blight, horror, um, marked. Uh and Big damage and big stress damage. Man, not big, really. big stress damage. If I mean, if someone just does big stress damage enough, they'll give a, a hero a heart attack. I see. I don't know if you actually got far enough into your playing that game to see that. If if you let your like, uh. Like there's the stress bar. If they get past the, uh, if they get past 100 stress, they will, uh, either have like a very negative thing added to them, that makes them cause stress to everyone else and makes them act differently, or uh, give them like a very positive thing, mm -hmm. sometimes. And then if you let your heroes get all the way to 200, they just fucking have a heart attack and die. It is brutal. Alright. So after gathering all all these quartz blocks, I'm gonna mine them all. And let's see how much quartz I get. Yeah, I think another thing that we tried doing that since you got your computer you might be able to do it. Which was try and playing Pokemon together in the um Roblox thing. Cause you've never experienced playing a Pokemon game, that's why I said that. Oh yeah. I completely forgot about that. So I think I wanna choose a different Roblox uh, version because the one that that I chose you can get stuck on the stairs in the very beginning uh, it took me like five minutes to get off the goddamn stairs and Jerry can never get off the stairs oh come to think of it in that like list of crowd control games other yeah. question uh is there uh, a Skyrim crowd control? Hold on, I might be able to find. Uh, let's go back. Uh, the... Oh, there's a dun. Oh my gods. What? There is a dungeon, like, just a tiny bit away from my base. Uh, this guy. Uh, just added Elder Scrolls. Five Skyrim Special Edition. Cool. Oh, there's no. Oh, that's kind of a dick move. What? I have a dungeon near my house, but there was no chests in it. Oh. I mean, EXP farm. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. It's it's a skeleton spawner, which means lots of bows, arrows, and bones. Bones can be very useful. Yeah.
I was like, I'm pressing cult, not fucking chill. God damn it. Oh yeah, because most definitely, by the time I place all these quartz blocks, I, I'll be just in shrink. Uh, are you near your bed? Uh, hold on, I can help you skip day real quick. Oh, I can do that, so... Is it day yet? Oh, you just fucking left. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna, I was, I thought you were gonna use console commands. No. <laughs> okay, it's day. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, why am I on fire? <laughs> Remember correctly, there should be a crafting bench table, motherfucker, over here. Crafting bench table, motherfucker. Yes. Where should I put my quarry? To avoid that, I think there's aquifers there. Oh wow, I got a lot of quartz. I got a stack of 64 and a stack of 63. Nice. Too much sand. Hey, hatchet. Yep. Are penises capable of being happy? <sighs> <laughs> right when I feel like I'm recharging from all of your nonsense. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can never escape Hatchet. Yeah, I think the goal for my next stream is just to, um, build a second nether portal in the new home base in hopes of finding an area with more quartz. Because I pretty much dug out majority of the quartz near my, and no one in my ba uh, first base. I mean, like, it's not like it's going to be a, like, an incredibly massive dif distance away. It could be. Well, I, I guess, like... I guess if you, like, were to make it 
like, a hundred, hundred fifty blocks away from your current one that probably give you a good distance. Mm -hmm. I guess just tell me when you're about to wrap up. Gotcha. Festus. Meow. What do you have to say, bud? Wanna help me mine? Don't mine at night, Hatchet. No, do mine at night, right? I know, I was just repeating the song. I know. Because we've had that conversation a million times. Literally that exact series of statements. You say don't mine at night, I say do mine at night. And then we both acknowledge the fact that this has happened a million times. Yeah, also, um... I'm gonna read this email I just got. I don't know why this fucker keeps sending me these emails. Oh no. It's titled, Makes a Female Friend Hungry for Sex? Question mark. Uh. <laughs> did you see it? Chris Anderson and I did a training called Become the Friend She Wants to Fuck. If there's, if there's a female friend, co-worker, or a woman in your social circle you'd like to sleep with, I highly recommend you watch it. In this training class, we talk about why it's easy to hook up with a female friend or acquaintance, the exact moves to make her feel sexual attraction, even if you're not her type. A step-by-step -step blueprint to get a female friend into bed and make her think it's her idea to sleep with you. The number one most awful mistake you can make if you have a crush on a female friend and what to do instead. The best way to make your move on her so she simply can't resist or reject you. We even give away a little gift towards the end of the training that you'd love. And most importantly, by the end of it, you'll know exactly how to press stop on being just friends with the girl you like. And instead, get her into your bedroom, fully undressed and hungry for sex. All done without the slightest possibility of rejection. Click below oh, and fucking... watch the replay of this training. Make it happen. Bobby. <laughs> Why are you getting these? I don't know. Ugh. <laughs> Everything about that makes my skin crawl. It sounds like an email Andrew Tate was sent out. Oh, I hate I hate that you just said that and that it's correct. <laughs> You're welcome. Fuck you. Oh man, you know how you can get a girl to like you? It's pretty simple. Just don't view her as a human being. Treat her like she's a prize, an object of your attraction, rather than another living being that has wants and desires. Oh my god. Who cares? We're gonna overwrite her because oh god, I can't even I can't even keep it up. It's so gross. <laughs> yeah, I'm ending stream and gonna write olithics. Unless you're gonna keep going. Oh just give me a sec to uh finish my knees. Okay. Are you gonna uh, keep going or? Oh, I'm 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 gonna end stream as well because uh, I need to get this headset off. What should plus the rate like, words be? Plus, it's not like there's a particularly large amount of interaction in my chat. Yeah. Um, 
Your raid word should be inside of your eyes. I smell the earth bones. Oh yeah, Gar, if you're still here, it's a running gag that every time Bright raids a channel friend Alifix, uh, I direct the um, raid words to be completely unhinged. So is it like inside your eyes I smell the insides of your earth bones? Or... Uh, you know what, let me just message it to you. Okay, bright. Should I make it? Should I use the word breadth, breath, or broth? Broth. Okay. Then inside your eyes, I smell the broth of the earth bone. <laughs> Lithix is gonna be so fucking confused. <laughs> That's the point. And the best part is, I'm not even going to hop into their chat. They're just going to know that it was me who did it. <laughs> yeah. I probably don't even have to ask this, but everyone ready? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Three, two, one. Rate it over there. Either way, uh, to the one viewer who's still here, who I'm guessing.